Hi guys, it's Jan. I'm on the rooftop smoking a joint. So I thought, why not share a story? It's not a literal story, just me talking about shit, where I came from, the mentality. So I come, of, I come from a place where flowers grow, dictatorship light is the operating system, people are unappreciative and think they're, they're worth only what they're paid for, for jobs that are only jobs. And where the mentality is football, alcohol and prescription drugs. That's the big one now. Amphetamines, oxys, and everything. Everybody's using Xanax, forms of Adderall, speed of course. Everybody who's studying a major university in Belgrade, college in Belgrade, is using amphetamines to some extent. And every worker who's working a nine to five job is using I don't know bromazepam some kind of shit that's a like an American version of Xanax gets you high for hours it lets you fade away to life yeah so that's the mentality where I come from do I have the same mentality? fuck no it's a personal thing. It doesn't have to be a nationality. Everybody looks to it like a nationality, but it's more of a personal thing. I don't. I never had that mentality. I just wanted to see most. I wanted to see better things than the city I grew up in. And there. They <laughs> they tried to insult me like you're running away from your problems or anything. No, no, no. <laughs> problems are always with you. You can't escape problems. This is fucking life. Get used to it. No, I just wanted to have a better environment for myself with where it's more lenient. To the things I do and it's better better life conditions better jobs not better jobs the same jobs for the double money and the rent costs <laughs> almost the same that's the real fucking issue the pay in Serbia is let's say 500 euros it's not it's not <laughs> it's lower 400 it's 400 at most but okay let's call it 500 here thousand and more the rent went up it's you can't find an apartment in Belgrade that's a one bedroom under 400 that it's it's in the city most of the people want to live outside and the, in the suburbs like I did. I didn't choose it. It comes with its restraints, of course. Driving the bus for 30, 40 minutes to get to the city center. Okay. It's a fucking drag. I know it. I lived it. So why not live in the city? It's too fucking expensive. You can't. So, in every suburb, it's um, it has its own ghetto mentality. We don't have black people. We have gypsies. Yeah, it's the replacement in the Balkans. The main minorities minority is the gypsies. They're protected by the government and have social and everything but 
they live like animals literally if you see it you'll know it they don't try to get good jobs no just hang around have their own collection services junkyards and things and are good musicians in Serbian country music but mind that so every hood has its how should I say supporters they were more prominent in the past but the times changed people change it's not a fucking big deal now so I just needed to get out to see the world in a different light to live a different life and smoke weed and talk what I want to talk about anything just express myself to any extent it's good enough for me so just moving it was fucking hell I went uh, the trip was hell me and my girlfriend fell asleep one hour before my bus no I'm lying one and a half hour we woke up we had under 30 minutes 20 Five at most yeah so called the cab immediately got there in a nick of time minutes to spare didn't say goodbye no the bus left I was in it headed to another city to catch another bus but then might be five hours into my journey on the bus sitting there looking at all the people around me yeah a drunk a drunk European guy sitting there a journalist sitting on my right nobody of interest some people just to chat to when you're at the border or in the restaurant have a couple of drinks with like I did with the Czech but mind the point we were going and we had a sit down in a restaurant I drank a couple of shots with the drunk guy he told me he was carrying Xanax to sell <laughs> in his home country because it was a lot cheaper to get in Belgrade yeah that's the deal so we're talking drinking we get on the bus we're about 150 kilometers to the town where I catch another bus and on the highway there was a traffic accident a guy carried towing a boat his tow got loose and the boat turned over blocking three lanes of the highway so for the next three and a half hours I'm sleeping a hundred kilometers <laughs> next to the town that I'm late for my bus yeah so I get there it's about 10 at night yeah I have about 30 euros with me mm, the all monies on my card that has a it's a specific card to my home country Serbia so it's pretty fucked it counts as discovery and diners club yeah and mostly none of the ATMs in Belgrade accept it so it's pretty shitty to have yeah I couldn't use it in Montenegro or Bosnia when I was on vacation before I left 
so I thought it was pretty useless so I thought I would find a some bank that would accept discovery or diners but I didn't know in the European Union ATMs accept any card the list goes on it's four rolls of a card they accept so I found the first ATM and went to the bus station yeah I got to the bus station asked an on Gypsy for directions. She didn't know to tell me in English, but she knows Serbian because she's a Gypsy in Europe. So, a bus driver comes along while she's telling me some gibberish, not telling me the directions to the bus or not knowing anything but chatting. The bus driver comes and gives her an old right slap. A bitch slap to its fullest. I stood there in shock, didn't know to should I fuck the guy up or fuck the guy up, but there's European police all around me, so if I fuck him up, I'm going to prison. Yeah, that's how it goes when you're from Serbia and you commit a felony in the European Union. You'll get fucked real fast so the gypsy did the job for me she kicked the guy uh, in the shin then in the balls then when he bent over in the head I stood there in shock yelling them for them to be sane they're gonna get arrested I she, he came <laughs> came up to her and said uh, you gave a blow. You gave a blow job to somebody on the metro, and slapped her as hard as he could. She didn't even fall over. No, no. She started <laughs> kneeing him and uh, kicking him in the shin and in the balls repeatedly and a couple of times in the head. He falls over. I just walk around them <laughs> carrying. <laughs> two suitcases and a bag that keeps falling over the suitcases uh, and find myself at a local cafe where I found the bus online. It was the, late, the latest bus and it cost a miserly amount, 20 euros, I think less and it was in one hour. Everything closes at 12 because of Corona. Yeah, I'm sitting in the cafe on the internet because I have a regional block on my cell. So that's not fun at all. So I catch a bus, get here in the town that I'm starting work uh, at 2 a.m. on the bus station. Uh, about two kilometers from my no less to my apartment building and still carrying those suitcases the journey was supposed to be in seven hours got there in 14 everything that could go wrong did go wrong so the conclusion to this is like, share and subscribe. This was Jan and me rambling on about <laughs> what's on my mind. So, see you in the next one.